Hi guys, my name's Roger Williams. Welcome to our little segment called Ask Roger at E3 has set us up with. Uh, I own an engine shop here in St. Paul, Indiana, and uh, each month uh, you guys have been sending in your questions, and if I answer one of them, you get a free set of spark plugs. Um, this month, a gentleman by the name of Michael Kirshner asks, when trying to build a stock V8 motor, how important is lift and duration in the cam that you pick to put in it? Well, it, very important, Michael. Um, the uh, camshaft is the heart and soul of your engine, and uh, I'm going to do my very best to explain um, what some uh, particular terms mean. And in this little short segment, I won't be able to go into very deep depth about camshafts because we could talk for hours on it. But um, uh, I'm going to read a little bit here uh, about uh, some specifications and differences between lift, duration, lobe separation, angle, and dual pattern cams. Understanding camshaft specifications. There are many numbers and terms used when describing a camshaft's design that must be understood when choosing a cam. It's good to know exactly how each of these specs affect the engine's performance, but one of the most important is duration, so pay special attention to that one. Lift. The cam's basic function is to open the valves. Lift refers to how far the valve is opened or lifted off its seat. A street performance cam will usually have between 450 and 550 lift. More lift can increase power. An increased lift without changing duration increases power without affecting the point of peak power on the RPM band. The rocker arms have a direct effect on lift because of the lever ratio. Example, a cam that has 318 inches of lobe lift will open and have uh, 477 lift uh, working through a 1.5 rocker ratio. Generally, a stock engine will tolerate about 500 thousandths lift before the valves hit the pistons or the valve springs uh, hit coil bind. But at any time lift is increased, these clearances must be checked. Duration. Duration is how long the cam holds the valves open. It's expressed in degrees of crankshaft rotation. Remember, the cam rotates at half the speed of the crank. A 280 degree duration cam holds the valves open longer than a 260 degree uh, duration cam. Holding the valves open longer allows more air and fuel into the engine and also allows more to get out through the exhaust. Longer duration, higher number improves top end power but almost always sacrifices low end torque. Lower duration improves low end torque and makes the car idle better but it limits top end power and you, you can get only so much valve lift with a short duration cam um, due to the rate of lift limitations of the lifter. Roller cams have the advantage of allowing higher rates of lift with relatively short durations. The confusing thing about duration is the difference between advertised and 50 lift duration. A 50 lift duration is measured from the point where the cam moves up the lifter 50 thousandths of an inch until 50 thousandths of an inch before the lifter is all the way back down on the, uh, the base. Most cam manufacturers differ where they start and finish measuring advertised duration. Some start at 4 thousandths lift and, and some start at 8 thousandths and others measure somewhere in between. That's why the 50 thousandths lift number is the best to go by. Lobe separation angle. This is the relationship between the center lines of the intake and exhaust lobes. A 110 degree lobe separation angle means that the peak opening points of the intake and exhaust lobes are 110 degrees apart. This is ground into the cam and cannot be changed without changing the cam. Um, lobe separation angle is another way of expressing overlap. Overlap is the amount of time that both valves are open at the same time. Uh, when both valves are open, cylinder pressures drop. A cam with 106 degrees of lobe separation will have more overlap and a rougher idle than one with 112 degrees, but it usually makes more mid-range power. Dual pattern cams. A dual pattern cam is one that has different duration and or lift specs for the intake and exhaust. Usually the exhaust lobes have more duration and lift than the intakes. Depending on the engine, this can be beneficial for engines with poor exhaust port flow or otherwise restricted exhaust systems. Whenever you see a figure like 280-292, that's a dual pattern cam with 280 degrees duration on the intake lobes and 292 degrees on the exhaust. 
Guys, I hope that helps explain the differences in some of the terminologies and uh, uh, maybe you can uh, get some ideas of your own of what's going to work in your application. But I highly do recommend that you give one of the good guys at uh, Ursins or Comp Cams or ISKI uh, a call and talk to the tech guys before you order your cam and, and describe your application and uh, or somebody with some experience in the, in the field anyways and help you choose your, your camshaft wisely. Almost always, it seems like guys go too big on the, their uh, street rod camshafts and, and they regret it. So I recommend that you keep the durations uh, on the more conservative side and, uh, and your hot rod will go faster and you'll have a lot more fun with it. Guys, get out from behind that computer. Uh, get to work on your hot rods. Send in your uh, uh, questions for next month and uh, we'll see you then. Take care, guys.